night of the heart attack, I actually had a gig that night and I got ready for it. Uh, I had my makeup on, I had my costume on and I thought I could just maybe endure the discomfort, get through that gig, which was only about an hour long. And then I would just, I would drive myself to urgent care. That's what I, I thought I would do. Um, that did not turn out to be the case. I actually uh, uh, had wonderful uh, colleagues who had the presence of mind to call an ambulance for me. My life before I was diagnosed with myocarditis and later subsequently had a heart attack was very full. My schedule was full. I think I was a person that liked to burn the candle at both ends. I made sure that every hour of the day was filled with something. For work, I would go work out. After work, I would go work out. And several times a year, because I wanted to fulfill the passion of, of being a performer, that was really truly what was in my heart of hearts to do. I did a lot of community theater or entertaining around town. And because I did that, my entire day was filled up. You know, I would work from nine to five and then I would go off in the evening and do these activities that sort of made my heart sing. Well, I, I think I went through a period of depression because I, I couldn't believe that at the age of uh, 38, 39, that something like that could happen to me. And I was sort of in, um, confounded by it because I felt like I had led this fairly healthy lifestyle and I, I just didn't understand. And I was frightened. I was really, really frightened that in spite of having all the tools now to take care of myself, I was still really frightened that it was gonna to happen to me again. A few years after I had the heart attack, my mom passed away. And I think at that time, strangely, everything in my life came into focus. And it was almost as if um, I could see much clearer about what was going on. Um, losing her and then having sort of a, um, a life-changing event happen to me made me realize that I wanted to I wanted to have a different life for myself. And it was kind of in that moment that I really started to make very um, deliberate steps toward becoming healthier and, and also pursuing my pass passion, which was, of course, entertaining. I would like to say to particularly younger women, be aware, always just keep mindful of things that are going on in your life that don't feel quite right. Go see your, your practicing physician and ask questions. 